Welcome back to another exciting episode of me obsessing over Jujutsu Kaisen. I am deeply sorry for spoiling all of your fun by giving you spoilers early on. Which means it's time for some more spoilers! Yeah, 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 hate me all you want. But we all know, Gojo is dead. Coming back on track, as you saw from the title, today's video dives into one of the most interesting and ongoing theories in JJK. Gojo Satoru's return from the dead. Now I know what you're thinking, but hear me out. There are some interesting details about his fight with Sukuna and the nature of Jujutsu itself that make Gojo's comeback a possibility. So get ready, because we're about to explore the clues and see if the strongest sorcerer can truly be down for the count. Slightly off track, but have you guys noticed how sadistic Gege is? Like, how they're killing some of their characters is insane. I did not expect this scale of Jujutsu murder coming. And now, Gege is making Kusakami fight with Sukuna, the so-called strongest first grade sorcerer. Everyone is down for the count and Kusakabe won't last that long. On top of that, I guess Gege forgot to power up their main character Yuji, and frankly speaking, I don't see him becoming stronger than Gojo out of nowhere to take down Sukuna. There are no longer any special grades standing, so the only logical conclusion is that Gojo is coming back. We know Sukuna is still not at his supposed full power, but Gojo coming back would make for an interesting match, since Sukuna can no longer use Maharaga. The world slicing slash was only a derivative of Maharaga adapting to Gojo's infinity. If there was no Maharaga, who knows what the outcome might have been. Soon after Gojo passed away, fans witnessed him meet his pals in a plane that hovered between life and death. In the meantime, his body was sliced in half in the real world, but his brain was still intact. And we all JJ otakus know that that's where the cursed energy comes from. Chapter 248 gave us a lot of hints regarding Gojo's return. This chapter reveals that Yuyui is taking the injured and or dead bodies to Shoko through his teleportation technique. The only logical conclusion that comes to mind is that Shoko will be using her reverse curse technique to heal the gravely injured. As we all know, Sukuna sliced Gojo's body into two pieces, so Shoko might stitch him up. It's also plausible that Utsuhime might also boost her healing technique through her enchantments. Gojo would owe her big time. And it's not just Gojo. Everyone wounded has been teleported to Shoko, so she definitely has a lot of work on her hands. It would be completely absurd to take Gojo's body to her if there was no cause for it. It's possible the fans underestimate Shoko's healing abilities. They could even be considerably stronger and capable of curing someone like Gojo. This can require Shoko to make a binding vow or enlist outside assistance through dance or incantations. Whatever the situation, Shoko may have a secret weapon because we don't even know the extent of her powers. If that's the case, she may undoubtedly save Gojo's life. She might even be able to revive Gojo to the point that he could begin utilizing the reverse curse method on himself and accelerate his recovery, even though he might have already been dangerously close to death. Despite the world losing its greatest sorcerer of the modern times, people continue to love him, and the world still needs him. It is now time for his return, and he must personally come and deliver the news that he's been hanging on to. Now that all is on Shoko, fans are hoping that she will deliver against all odds and pull an unexpected trick out of her hat. But for the time being, Sukuna's battle with Kusakabe is still the major focus. Not for long though, the JJK plot is getting painfully exciting, and I for one am holding on to my breath with each chapter as it comes. If this is your type of content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with all anime related content such as this. We'll be back with another part. See you soon.